Now let's refer to technical bulletin from GasSafe 112 and let's discuss gas rating with these new so-called smart meters. They ain't smart in my eyes anyway. So the first smart meter we're going to be looking at is this Flonidan G4SZV smart meter. So this meter contains a field changeable battery and a valve and is capable of operating in both credit and prepay payment modes. So you can see from the photograph on the right hand side there are three red navigation buttons and these are the buttons we're going to be using to uh, do our gas rating. So you can use any of these three buttons. Now this meter displays a symbol in the top left hand corner of the display that indicates the position of this gas valve. So before you commence with the gas rating, the valve must be in the open position. If the valve is in closed position, then the customer will either need to put credit onto the meter or you'll need to contact their gas supplier for further guidance. So when you're gas rating with this meter, like your gas rate with any meter, make sure the appliance you're actually testing is running on full and it's the only appliance that is running. Then you press any of the navigation buttons to wake up the display. The index is updated when one of the three buttons is pressed on the index plate. The meter will display this reading of the first screen and the index for up to 10 seconds. Make a note of this initial reading. Now you must allow this display to go back to sleep. This will take approximately 30 seconds. Now when the timer has reached is 2 minutes, it's 120 seconds, press any button again to reawaken the display. This will show the updated meter index. When the 2 minutes is completed, make a note of this final meter index reading. And then you can carry out the normal um, way of gas rating now. So take your first reading away from your second, times it by 30, times it by 38.7. Divide by 3.6, divide by 1.11 will give you your kilowatts in net. Now the next gas meter we're going to be looking at is this Liberty EG4V10 smart meter. So, slight difference from the last one we've just done is, we're going to be using this keypad. Okay, and the main thing we're going to be using is this number 9 here on the keypad. So, first thing we're going to do is, we're going to press number 9 and it will wake up the smart meter. We're then going to press it again till it scrolls through to our volume. So we're going to need the volume test on this meter. So once we've got to the volume test, for two seconds, this meter will display our reading, but it will give it us to four decimal points, but we only need three decimal points. So first thing we're going to do is, we've got the appliance set on full. We're now going to press the number nine. When we press it the third time, we start the stopwatch and then we time it for two minutes. So it's one, two, three, comes up volume test. We've now got um, 0.7891 and we've started the stopwatch for two minutes. Once we've done our two minute test, then we can go back and as soon as we press the third time, we stop the stopwatch. And then the figures should come up for our second reading. Okay, again, it's only literally on for about three seconds, three to five seconds. So you need to be quick at taking the time. Once you've done that, then we can do our usual tests. We can take our um, set, uh, first read it away from our second. We can times it by 30. We can times it by 38.7. We can divide it by 3.6. We can divide it by 1.11. And that will give us our kilowatts in net and that one is most, one of the most common ones you're going to come across at the moment
Now the next meter we're going to be looking at is this ITRON RF1 SV smart meter. So remember when you're going to gas rate any of your appliance make sure that is the only appliance running when you're going to start the gas rate. So before we do anything we need to press any of the two buttons on the front of the meter which is the orange or the blue triangle. The meter will wake up and start to show the um, index with the gas flow on the screen with an AO. If the AO is not displayed on the screen then you need to scroll through by short pressing the orange triangle button. So within 30 seconds of waking up the meter at the next increment on the index we need to start the stopwatch and take the first reading and then we need to do our two minute test. But after 30 seconds the index will go blank but the meter will still be measuring the flow taken during the test. So after 1 minute and 30 seconds we can press any of the blue buttons or the orange button again and it will reawaken the display. This will show the updated meter index but we need to wait till we've met this 2 minutes or this 120 seconds before we take our second reading. Once we've hit this two minutes, we can take the second reading what shows on the display and this will now give us our first and second reading. We can now use these two readings to do our calculations. So take your uh, first away from your second, times it by 30, times 38.7, divide by 3.6, divide by 1.11 will give us our kilowatts net. The next gas meter we're going to be looking at is this Elster BK4, uh, G4E smart meter. Pretty much the same as a, a standard G4 meter, but it has this different display. So again, if we're going to gas rate using this gas meter, we need to make sure that we've only got the appliance we're gas rating on and it's set to its maximum. So, um, first thing we need to do is press any of these three navigational buttons to wake up the display. Once you've done this, the meter will display the index reading on the first screen and this index reading will be updated in real time. Again, it will only last for 30 seconds, so within this 30 seconds, we need to take the first reading and start the stopwatch. So again, after a short time, the display will go blank again. This is always to save the battery. So again, after 1 minute and 30 seconds uh, of the end of the 2 minutes, or 120 seconds of this test period, press any of the navigation of buttons again to reweight the display. And again, we've got to wait till we nearly get to this 2 minutes before we can take our final and second reading. So once we get up to the 2 minutes, we stop the stopwatch and take our second reading. Then we can calculate our gas rate from our first and second readings again. So same as usual, take uh, your first reading away from your second, times it by 30, times it by 38.7, and divide by 3.6, divide by 1.11. Will give us our kilowatts net. Now the last final meter we're going to be looking at is this Landis GYR meter. Now these have been around for quite a while um, and again they can be prepayment or uh, payment meters. So basically what we've got is we've got two buttons. We've got a red button and a black button. The red button has an A on it, the black button has a B on it. Now when we're gas rating this, again we need to put the appliance on full rate and we need to press the red button and it will come up please wait 
then it will come up with how much is credit is on the meter. It says the meter's on and it's £41 and 33p on this meter. We need now to press the red button again till it comes up with meter index. Once we've got the meter index we can press the black button and start the stopwatch and what it'll do is it'll say please wait and it will update the index for us. So it's now come up with a reading of 0.447 meters cubed. We will now do our two minutes. But what will happen again after 30 seconds, the screen will go blank again. So again, normally when we get to round about uh, one minute, 50 seconds, you press the red button again until we get to the index. And then when we bang on the two minutes, we press the B button again and it will give us our second reading. And then we can take our first reading from our second. Um, we can times by 30, give us meters cubed an hour. We can times it by the 38.7, the carolific value of gas, divide by the 3.6, divide by the 1.11, which will give us our kilowatts net. Okay, so that's how we do this meter. If you've liked this video, why don't you give us that thumbs up or leave a constructive comment down below. If you've not subscribed to our YouTube channel yet, then get subscribing and don't forget to hit that notification bell because I release new videos every Wednesday. And again guys, all I've got left to say is, thanks for listening, thanks for watching, look forward to seeing you next Wednesday guys, cheers.